Events of the North advertised their Kielder 10K as the most beautiful 10K in the UK. Let's see how beautiful a 10K can be. Okay, Kielder, show me what you got. I'm coming at you from the air with a drone, from the sidelines with my support crew, and from the course itself with my Insta360. I am here at Kielder Reservoir for my Christmas present last year from Haley, which is the Kielder 10K run. But at this moment in time, just what I need, something to focus on, and just run. Leave the demons in my head behind for a short while. Now is 10 minutes past 12, rain goes off at 1pm. Jamie and Lucy My legs don't touch the bottom. Yeah. Well, time, we found something where your legs don't touch the bottom. Uh, my legs don't touch the bottom. What's it like to be able to swing your legs? So it's swinging legs. Is this, is this what it's like for normal people? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's just swinging the legs on the end of the seat. Yeah. Ooh, it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. I've been missing out. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can just do like that any time. Yeah. Well, you can do other things. I'm normally like this. No, thank you. Sleep now. Yes, please, no. You got to something, you gotta do it right now. Do you have a nap? Yeah. 10k nap nap. That's what you're doing at 10k? Yeah. Just nap. 40 winks? 10 winks. <laughs> I haven't run a 10k yet, my body battery is saying I am at 30%. So, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm feeling exhausted, I didn't sleep very well. I must have plugged myself in last night when I put into bed. So I haven't recharged. 30 minutes. Must have slept well with everything going on, so yeah, great. <laughs> and even better, I've got no 10k tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, two you right? How are you doing? Good. Good, man. What home for? Get round. Get round. Get round, guys. Are you finding your athletes to try athletes with me? Oh, I need to stop training. What do you Oh, you got to train for an Ironman. Uh, <laughs> 600 quid. Really? Oh. That'd be a damn good medal. <laughs> I think I might go further back. I don't think really I'm this fast. <laughs> I think I'm overcompensated. <laughs> uh, can you I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you just get some more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hi, Thank you. Have fun, everybody. <laughs> Stephanie was bang on the front line, now she's not. David Lanton, Leander, Mixed Rounds, and Kim McGinnis is stealthy. We've got the Northumbrian Yorker, D5 Arkham, and Murray, on the head of 70th place. When I was counting for the Great North, and I was like, what am I doing? And we're also <laughs> well, who's ready for a pint? Yeah. All of the front line are ready for a pint. You are going in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You out there. I think it wasn't tough enough coming to you in and out, I'm pretty sure. It's October and last year's Christmas present is a go! I did press go on my watch didn't I? Ah, yes. Oh, there's Steve Cram again! Personal best support crew! <laughs> and that's Kim McGuinness, the mayor of the Northeast. Should I try and capture a quick interview while running? Thank you. Hello. Good to see you again. You too. I was at the start of the Great North Road again. Putting with a selfie stick. Oh yeah. I don't know how you managed that all the way around. <laughs> how did you find the Great North and start the front? It was amazing. Yeah. But it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, I felt that went far too hard at the beginning. And then, like, 
30,000 people over there. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't it? And then yeah. you kind of, you just got to do it at your own pace. That is the only thing about starting at the front. Yeah. Um, and also, it's just saying, some people take it so seriously. Oh, totally, yeah. But it's a privilege, right? Like, I'll never get that again, so <laughs> just got to enjoy it. Yeah. I did a thing where I wanted to see how fast I could run against the elites over like 20 meters. See how I could take them and say like I was oh, leading. So you did like a sprint start? Yes. See how I could lead the Great North Run. So I tried... the, me and Andy Burnham had that conversation. Did we're you? Like, how long do you go for the Great North Run? Oh yeah, yeah. He said, how long do you think we could be in the front for? And then we missed the... Oh, you missed the start? Oh, the was he like fucking and chatting. So we sort of missed the start. Well, I've got yeah. like a... On my YouTube video, I pause it, and you can see in slow motion, like bullet time. And like after half a step, I'm already 50th. And I'm like, it was so quick. Yeah, they're turning me isn't it? And I was like, I couldn't keep up with them in a full sprint. It's what they do, gone. though. Absolutely gone. It's what they do. So, yeah, but I thought, okay, we've got to keep running. Yeah. I've done them before and then not kept going. Right. So, like, it's good to do this. You got any more lined up after this? Not yet, no. I don't really know what happens on the way, to be honest. <laughs> it just kind of shut down a little bit. Yeah. Well, have a good one. Yeah, you too, Kim. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye. This is beautiful, like a wildlife racetrack. Wow. Good luck, Al. Thanks, Al. Good luck. <laughs> This hill just upgraded itself to a serious hill. <coughs> Lots of healthy breathing around me here. It's not about the pace, it's about the smile upon your face. Okay, not about pace. I'm just overtaking you! Ha <laughs> ha! We are still climbing. Where is the top of this hill? Yeah, I like downhill bits. Brakes off. Whee! Things you notice when you're running. That woman has a wet left butt cheek. Oh well, that's how it's safe. How are you doing? Good man. Get it up there. Yeah. Huh? There's a farm here. Yep. Good man. Who's there? I'll see you again. Have a good one, mate. Yeah. Three kilometers in, and I can now see the reservoir from the other side of the peninsula. Wait, that's wet left butt cheek. I've overtaken that. Who's overtaking me now? Pace! But it's not about pace, it's about the smile upon your face! Yeah! Imagine going for a calming, relaxing cycle through the woods on a weekend when a thousand runners run towards you! Ah! Relaxing! This camera will miss nothing of this run. The beautiful scenery and that man having a wee in a bush. Okay, what part of the course is this? The running backwards while looking smug part. Oh, there it is again. And another. It's contagious. Should I initiate smug mode?
That man's smug is broken. He's going the other way now. Five kilometers done. I didn't think this run by the water's edge would be so uppy downy. He's taking the photograph of that view. That's a good eye. Oh no, I don't need to. I've got my stick. Oh, I'll look at that later. Six kilometers. Wait. That's wet left bum cheek. She's walking. Come on. This is why it's the most beautiful 10k route in the UK. Wow. Seven kilometers done. OMG! WLB! WLB's walking the hills and I'm running up them. Who's got the better tactic? Disaster. The noise is in my head. It's it's Five Nation Army on a loop. How do I turn this off? Turn it off. Thanks, man. Do, do you know how to turn this off? Yeah, that's not a bad view, I suppose. Eight kilometers done, and I appear to have a group of besties around me. We can do this, besties! Smash it! Wait, is that what left butt cheek? It is! Why did she overtake me? Ah, it must be when I was looking at that drone shot. I'm beating her in this race purely on the ability to tie one's own shoelaces. I've been overtaken by a vegan runner. Not on my watch. Use the power of the sausage roll, Al. Sausage roll. Hi, Marshall. Hats off to you, wet left butt cheek. With all those shoelace incidents, you're still beating me. You're the far superior runner. You will show go ahead and enjoy your fruits of labor, your spoils of war, your booty. Like, how does this happen? All these fifth people suddenly overtake you towards the end of the race. I mean, where have they been all this race? They've been sitting in Costa for the first half an hour? Where have you been? Nine kilometers done. One to go. Oh, I like this effect of running through here. I hope it looks good in the camera. Coming up now should be those two marshals I've talked to before the run started who seemed really friendly. I wonder if they recognize me. Yeah, she remembers me. I must stand out or something. I hope the other one doesn't recognize me because he said if he did, he'd send me the wrong way as a joke.
Here he is. He's running. He's running. Yes, now. Keep well. Come on, man. We we'll just left to go. Couldn't be any easier. Come on. Phew. This is going to be the 10k course now. Unless he's sending everyone the wrong way for a joke. Here we go. Enjoy this bit. You deserve it. Wow, now look at that view. Now this is how you do a finish line location. Come on, final push. Enjoy it now. This man stopped me because he saw my camera and he's a YouTuber too. But he put his camera on his, oh careful that gesture, on his head while I run with the stick. He's tried to video this course three times the last three years but it's rained every year. So I think I've got lucky with the weather here. So many people are recognising me, this is great. Oh another fan wants a selfie, of course you can. There you go, enjoy. I'll get over the road because of all the runners. Oh wait, there's a green man running past. We can go. Beep, 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 beep. There's a green man. Go. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no, Eddie spotted a hole in my shorts. Don't look anyone, don't look. I can cross, but where's the green man? That starts down here and finishes at Kill the Water Time. Starting down at Kill the Dam, we've got the equally incredible Kill the Half Marathon. 
I can't decide if I want a coffee or an ice cream. Oh, wait, I've got a plan. Hails to one with Blake. Time for an in depth conversation between dad and daughter regarding the choices on ice creams. You doing the marathon tomorrow as well? <laughs> Dawn and Wendy, fantastic work. Well done, Alan. Smash this. That baggage area tent looks better than a refreshment tent. Can I be a bag? Feel the 10k done. Love that. Why? Because it's a trail run. It takes away the whole road race element. When people say, oh, you've done a 10k on the road. What time do you do? It's the first thing they ask. What time do you do? It's almost like, I want to define you. I want to let you know that I'm fatter than you and you're there. It's like, no, you should be achieving the person actually finished. So. This course, what was everybody saying? What time did you do? No. How did you enjoy it? Wasn't the scenery amazing? A few people say, wasn't that hell at the beginning? Awful. But that's why I love it. Trail running takes away the pressure of time. Let's just get out there, run, but also enjoy the scenery. We shouldn't be trying to define people by time. If their goal was to do a 10K, let them achieve it. The question should always be, did you enjoy it? Was it everything? it lived up to for you. So yeah, kill the 10k build as the one of the best or the most beautiful 10k runs in the UK. I agree. And I hope you do too from all that footage. That I shot wonderfully, really well organized. Started running with, uh, with the mayor of the Northeast. Highlight, pretty good, and she knew who I am. Saw Steve Cram. And I think I learned a really valuable lesson of don't go off too fast. We all know this as runners. But I think this is the first time I got the pacing really well done. I didn't go fast at all. Held it constant and enjoyed it all the way around. Because normally when I run, getting close to the end, I just fall off a cliff and I'm just hanging on for dear life. This felt like I had some left in the tank. And I, I was able to enjoy it. I think I had a few times on the 8k mark, I might have actually been smiling. It was a bit strange. But yeah, probably because I was smiling as well, thinking I'm almost at the finish. Where's my ice cream? I'm an athlete, what can I say? <laughs> Where's my ice cream and coffee? Start with a buffet, finish with a coffee and ice cream. Real quick, film the fly up Haley's nose. <laughs> yeah. Talking to a great marshal at the start, before we started running, I think he feels, I, I got the feeling he's one of those very good elite runners who qualifies for races around the world because I asked him how much elevation does this course have and he said very little it's practically flat and then everybody else I talked to said oh watch out for the hill at the beginning it's a nasty one it was so what can I deduce from that well one man's flat is another man's hill you can't compare times and you can't compare what people say about how flat a course is. We're all on our own little journey, aren't we? One man's hill is another man's flat. Is that a hill? No, I'm not doing it. Mm. <laughs> I'm on enough hills. <laughs> get the bus to that one. Yeah, you can get the bus to the start and the finish. You can get the bus to the start and you get the bus back. We chose to walk. It's a good warm-up and a good cool-down. Just a little mile and a half walk. It's good. Why would you come to an event to run and get the shuttle bus there and back? It's like these people who go to the gym by driving and get as close as they can to the door to then go on a treadmill. Just run around. That's outside is free. Valentine's is not. I also had to refuse a girl's hug. Just as I crossed the finish line, Nick came up and was going to congratulate me. Arms out. And I was like, please don't. Don't be offended, but I am a big sweaty mess. You do not want to hug this. How about a handshake? Other people don't think sweat. I do, Megs. Mm -hmm. Even Meg recoil a little bit when she touched touch the dad's back. Mm. <laughs> oh, not another hill. Little bonus though, we're heading back to the car. And we're going back to the buffet for my mum's 80th birthday. Put on a little uh, 
There's a little party for me, ma'am. Hide in function room, put in a buffet. And as always with buffets, there's loads of food left over. So, grabbed a box, brought all the food with us. It's a little picnic. So you get some people, some athletes, really addressing their nutrition, looking at what they can take. I've got a box of beige, and I'm looking forward to getting back to that box of beige. Box of beige. Sausage rolls. Box beige. Sausage rolls and quiche. Oh, bring on the sausage rolls. Yes. Back to the box of beige. Mm. Mm -hmm. People do it right, but I do it with style. Mm -hmm. And what an amazing support crew I've got. When I'm out doing the 10K run, they're enjoying themselves with hot chocolates and coffees. But they bought brownies too. Three brownies, one each. And look at the size of them. Oh, thank you. Bring on the brownies. <laughs> nom nom. This is how you exercise. This is how you get fit. Nom nom. How do you get fit? Ice cream, coffee, brownies. Mm. Little bit of running, then back to more beige. Got ham and cheese pudding. Got mega fat ham and cheese pudding. 